All right, let's get right into it. Hello again. Hello means 안녕. Sorry, 안녕 means hello. And uh, yeah, this is a new artist for me, new song. Paul Pagan Sachungi's um, 좋다고 말해 means um, say you like me. And there's so many useful beginner vocab grammar that's um, repeated here, so I chose this song. All right, let's get into it. So 안녕 means hello. 오늘도. 오늘 means today. And 또 means as well. 또 means like two. So 저도, I as well, like me too, like 저도요, or um, yeah, it has many different meanings. So 오늘도 means today as well, so it means more than just one day. Um, I guess this girl's been stalking him. 같은 자리, the same spot. 같다 means same, 자리 means like seat or spot. And 버스 장가, that's, that's a bus, 버스 is bus. 장가 is window seat, because you know 창문 is um window. Those who know that, <laughs> um, and it is just a location particle. Okay, so it's kind of jumbled up, but I'll explain the whole sentence later. And then, kide anjun. Kide is leaning, and anda is a uh, sitting. And why is there un here? Why is there un here? Just like katun. Katun. When you have a un after an adjective or a verb, um, usually it means um, it's describing the next part. So the same spot. Katun tari. Tari is spot. And anjun means like uh, you who is sitting there. Nege. Okay? Kide anjun nege. Alright? It's a little complicated, but I'll explain it all when the sentence is finished. Nega insa du he. So nege is a, um, I. It could also mean you as well. Actually, this one means you. Um, insa means to say hi. Insa hada. And uh, it's a strange word. There's no real English equivalent. It uh, when you hear parents tell their kids to say insaheo means greet, greet them. Okay, insader he, and the de is a direct, direct object particle, right? And hi is English. That's just so. That's the English way of saying of insahein, right? Okay, so this whole phrase here is saying, um, you know, starting with hello um, today. You know, just like the other days, you are sitting in the same spot which is the bus by the window, and you're leaning against it, and leaning and sitting, okay? 기대 안전. So you're sitting on the bus and leaning against the window, and then, um, to you, I greet you. 인사를 해. 내게 인사를 해. Hi. All right, so nothing too complicated here. Let's continue on. 잘생긴 너 내게만 그렇게 쌀쌀하게 굴더라 Alright, and um, here, 역시, 역시 is, you hear a lot of Koreans start a sentence with 역시. It just it has different meanings, but in this one it says like, eh, like I thought, as expected. So I guess this girl has said hello to this guy a couple times before, got no response, okay? So like, as before, non is you, 받아주지. So let's learn this one. This one's very useful. 받다 means to receive, and when you see, uh, 주다, 받아주세요 means like, um, 주세요 is to give. So 받아주세요 means just like, really receive it, just take it, okay? But when you hear a 지 and 안다 together, 하지 않아요 is like, it just means negative. So 받아주지를 안내. Uh, the 내 is like kind of, um, oh, so you don't receive it. So the 지 Anta when it comes after pada juda, it just means that you didn't receive it. Okay, you didn't accept my what? You didn't accept my um, my greetings, which is cold as hell. Um, yeah, so just remember that. Ti anta. So for example, mokti uh, anayo. I said I'm not gonna eat it, um, or like taji anayo. I'm not gonna sleep. Okay, so pada juji an anayo means um. You didn't receive it. And the ne here just is kind of like saying, ooh, like, so, so I see. So I see you didn't receive my, my greetings, boy. Um, and then here, it's kind of like a, describing the guy. Inki manta. Inki means like popular. Well, it only means popular if you have a manta after it. So inki manayo. Man means many, right? So inki manayo, you have a lot of popularity. This go just means and, right? Um, 
and Chao Xingyin. Chao Xingyoyo, it means handsome. Why is there N here? Uh, like I said before, it changes any verb or adjective into, to, an, to an adjective. It's describing you. Non, again, right? Non. We have non here. It just means you. Chao Xingyin non. So the handsome you. So in English, the translation is the popular handsome you, which is kind of strange. In English, you would probably say you who is popular and handsome. Okay? But here the word order is kind of flipped out. Inki manko. So popular and handsome. Ta sengin. You. Nege. So this nege, if you look at the spelling, is different from the previous one. The sound is the same though. It, this one is me, is I. Nege man. My is only. This is only. So only to me, you are like this. Kuroke. Kuroke means like this. Salsal hage means um, coldly. Coolly. And gul is act. And tora is like an ending. It's hard to explain. But um, it kind of also means like as expected or um, yeah, like I knew it or something to pay attention to. Okay. So a lot of strange sentence structures for English speakers, but um, you know, not too complicated if you break it down. So let's look at it again very quickly. Yokshi. So as expected, non, you didn't receive. Like I saw it, right? Pada judiru ane. The popular inki manta go is and and handsome. Tasengin you non nege man only me. You treat like this. You treat coldly like this. Kuroke sasa hage is coldly and kuru tora is like treat or your attitude is bad. Tora. Okay. So tora and ne kind of it's like a sim it's a similar sentence ending that just kind of means like uh, so I see. Okay. Let's continue on. Alright, so here's where it starts getting a little easier. Um, kunde means like but. So, but last night. Kunde last night. Kiyok na. So, do you remember? Kiyok heyo is a uh, remember. And a na, if you hear a na yo near the end of a sentence, it just means um, like the previous phrase was a question. Kiyok na yo, or for example, kung bu hada is um, study, so kung bu hana yo, are you studying? So, kunde last night kiyok na is last, but last night, do you remember? You, non again, nega, that's me, chotta go heso. Alright, so let's explain this because this is the key part of the title of this so non you nega i chotta go so chotta means like it also means um it's good but here it means like okay uh tago this is the key thing you hear this a lot this is how koreans use quotation marks they use tago so if you hear tago after something usually it's not all the time usually it means this is what you said so what did you say you liked me. Me is here and chot, like, chotta is like, oops, sorry there. So, and heso, heso is this past tense of hada. Okay? You can say mar heso. Mar heso means said, but in this sentence, hada also means said. Okay? So you gotta understand that. So, you said you liked me. Tago just means this. Nega chotta. Okay? Um, yeah, let's continue on. Nega. Non nega chotago heso. You said you liked me. Ku is like that. Yapun. Um, that means pretty. Yapun. Remember the N again also makes it adjective. It describes the next thing. Karo. Karo means like street. Dung is light. So street light. Karo dung. Are so. Are means under. And so is like um, kind of a position word. You see it a lot. So ku yapun karo dung are so. It just means under that pretty street light. Okay. And it repeats the same thing. Non nega chotago mal heso. So here they added mal heso, but the meaning is exactly the same. You said you liked me. And I made a mistake. It should be liked, right? Because he said mal heso. You said you liked me. Oh, actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Um, well, the past tense is expressed in the said. Okay. Let's continue on. She repeats this a lot. 
All right, here we go. 다음부터 which means um from the next time. 다음 means next time. 다음부터 and 부터 means from. Oops, again. Ah. For example, 처음부터 처음 means beginning, so 처음부터 means from the beginning. So 다음부터 means from next time because 다음 means next time. Um, 모른 척 and 아닌 척. So 모르 모르다 means like um. 모르다 means uh, I don't know, or oh, sorry, don't know. And here, 은 척 is used together. When you use that 은 after a verb and 척, it just means this is all pretending, is not real. For example, 잘하는 척 is a way of saying um, that you're bragging. So 잘 is good, 하다 is doing. So 잘하는 척, you pretend like you're really good at something. It just means you're cocky. So 모른 척 and 아닌 척 over here. Again, 는 and 척 go together. 아닌 척, 아니다 means no, right? So, um, let's just look at this part. 해도, so even if you do this. So what he's, she's really saying is, even if you pretend to not know, so here's pretending not to know, 모른 척, or it didn't happen. 아닌 척, it didn't happen. There's no word for happen, but 아니에요 just kind of means like no, right? So... Don't pretend it didn't happen. Uh, you have to know that. I didn't write it in English here. 확신을 해야 된 넌. Okay, that 확실, uh, sorry, 확신하다 means to make sure. Okay, and uh, 해야 돼. This is like a very um, useful phrase. You hear 야 돼 after a, a verb in its conjugated form. It means you have to. Okay, so non is like... Um, you right i have to to make sure um i'll give you an example mokta means eat mogoya de means i have to eat so here hwakshin is to make sure hwakshin heya de means i have to make sure okay so what's she making sure of well we'll see she completes the sentence here kuna all right break it down ku is that na is day Non is you. That day, you. Nega is me. <laughs> I'm breaking down really easy for you. Chot dago. Chot is like. And dago just means like, um, this is all in quotations. Yikes again. Heso. And means you said it. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, you like me. And we'll finish it off. Also means like quickly, like right now. Nega again. Um, chotago malhejo. So this time she says malhejo. That means say it for me. Say it for me again. Okay. She's getting greedy. She wants the boy to say you like me again. Uh -huh.